Well, hello there. This is Rustics giving you a let's play of a game called Fragile Allegiance. Uh, right here we see a screenshot from the game. Uh, this is an asteroid with building on its surface. Uh, the object of the game is to colonize asteroids and uh, extract ores from them to sell to something called the Federation. Now here we see a combat on an enemy asteroid and these ships with red on them are my ships and there are some here too and the greenish ships these and that one too is enemy ships Now you can see some ships being destroyed here and the building on the surface of the asteroid being destroyed by me we're going to run this game with um, a DOS emulator called DOSBox and we're going to have a look at uh, their website there. We can see the game is well supported and um, there's a, a recipe here for running the game with host CD. A few files that you need to copy uh, from the CD to the to where you install the game and uh, there are some more files than what they um, tell about here but, uh, uh, you, you'll have to figure it out for yourself then the game is going to crash if uh, it doesn't uh, find the file it tries to find uh, so uh, let's have a look at the setup of the toolbox here uh, I am running it uh, uh, with 20,000 cycles and no frame skip here. And these are the commands I use. Uh, uh, no, this is the folder where the game is installed. And uh, I'm going to run the game now. This is the intro, but we're going to skip that. And here's the menu. Now we're going to start a new game. Uh, the first scenario here called Beginner's Luck. We're, we're going to start off there. Uh, the odds are in our favor and there's a single and friendly alien culture let's start now with this button we zoom in on the asteroid surface and here we can allocate money to different stuff like construction of buildings with this button we can start uh, constructing these buildings. The first building I want to construct on my initial asteroid is a sensor array. And this is going to help me locate other asteroids that I'm going to colonize. Then I want mines to extract minerals. And these deep more deep bore mines can extract the rare kind of minerals. I'm building two of those and these mines extract less rare minerals. I've built four of these and I need some storage. One of these and one of these for the minerals. I also want a refueling depot so my ships can travel further and uh, farther. Uh, I I want my um, population to have uh, certain uh, things available to them, like medical care. Uh, 
I'm gonna build one of these. I'm gonna build some entertainment for them, pleasure dome, and a security center to keep uh, criminals in check. They're also going to need some air, water, and food. And by clicking on this building, we get some stats for the colony. Uh, right now, the radiation is uh, at a reasonably low level. Still, it might hinder the growth of uh, the population. So, I'm going to build one of these radiation filters. I also need some power for my building, so I'm going to build a power store and uh, four or five of these. Uh, I'm going to need a weapons factory if I'm going to produce ships, so I want that. And also a shipyard. And a landing pad. This is required to launch ships too. Uh, we're going to have a look at this uh, SciTech. I'm usually uh, going into SciTech before starting the construction of buildings, but I did it in a, another order now because I think that was more intuitive. Uh, there are certain categories of things you can purchase here. Well, in fact, you only purchase blueprint and you will have to uh, construct the things on your asteroids later. Uh, now here we have mining stuff like the, the seismic penetrator. It can extract the rarest ores that you can find. And these ores are worth a lot so this can be a good investment but uh, against only one enemy race uh, we might not need this one so I'm not going to buy that right now I'm normally getting these two also but uh, for this um, for this let's play I'm only going to buy to purchase this one. Uh, here are miscellaneous stuff. No, I definitely want the asteroid engines uh, so that I can alter the speed and direction of my asteroids. And I want these so I will not have to build sensor towers on all asteroids. Plus they give instant censoring abilities to the asteroids. So I not have to wait for the building to come to finish. Uh, an asteroid tracker is also useful so I'm going to get that one too. Uh, now I can put the rest of my money into the construction front. Well actually I'm going to put some into vehicles. And now we're going to wait for this to finish uh, constructing. It will be done in 15 days. And in fact, I'm probably going to save now and uh, see you in the next part of this Let's Play. So, goodbye.